Okay, I'm going to, we'll come to your court yeah, case. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be there. We're going to have... Yeah, I think that's a real important one because that court case lines up with what we're going to have to prove at trial. Yeah. And that's where I'm going to go. Cool. So... And yeah. also that's my yeah. whakapapa too that they're desecrating, eh? Or yeah, like... well, we, we went up there today and got some photos and there's a house right where the, right where the gravesite is, on top of the gravesite. Fuck! That quick! Oh, no. That quick! Yeah, well, no, apparently they put the house in, like, it's a brand new house, and we didn't know it had gone up there. And, um, see, like, I hadn't, because I've been up at the farm here, I didn't miss the trees. But what put me onto it was when I went down earlier. And you saw the trees were gone. Guys, I couldn't see the trees. Yeah, so you thought, oh, what's thought, going on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, up on that hill, up on that, up on that hill by where your little block is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well I was down there and I said to you, oh, the, you know, the grave site's up there. And I looked up there and I said, see to you guys, there's oh, so many trees gone. They cut the trees down. And I thought they were milling the pine trees, but they haven't. They've cut the trees down. And when they went up there, and I rang them on, on Thursday and asked them what, what the story is, and they said, oh, yeah, well, we'll send somebody up there to have a look. But I think they've just cut some trees out and put a fence line through. And I said, well, I... Did you get I that on? Did you film them saying that? Did you at least... Did I film them? Yeah. No, no. No, because I just wanted to know if they knew about it. And they said, well, that they gave me the bloody, well, big story that it wasn't historically you know, recorded, and I said, it doesn't matter. I said, we all knew it was, the grave site was up there, and you guys, being the ones that are supposed to be looking after it, should have known as well. So oh. I had a bit of a spit at them over there. Yeah. And then I sent the boys up there today to get photos yeah. to see how much trees they'd cut out, because I thought they were just mulling the trees. No, not even. There's a house, there's a... There's a dam being put up here, and it's Fuck. right where those trees are going. Oh gone, my think. god! And so there's so you bones. Know what's going to happen there? Yeah, and, bad things. And eh? I said, see, you guys can't say you didn't know it was there because what about all the cumla pits around here and and to tow? And you can tell by the um, landscape that that was a par site. You can clearly yeah. see by the yeah. mines. Yeah, yeah. And I said to them. Look, that's Tamatea's par site. Tamatea was the only one that knew, and that's why he travelled around New Zealand. He knew how to grow potatoes and kumara, and that's why there's, there's huge kumara pits around Helensville because he lived here. I oh, said, there's my granddad. I didn't know. That's why our people were hungry through winter. Because... Wait till I tell my cousins this. They'll be pissed off, man. Oh, yeah, they should be. It should go to media, right? It Fuck you. Yeah. really, really should. Yeah, I'll try you know, and put I it know. out. I'll try and put it out. Yeah, yeah. And um, see, Tamatea, that's why everyone, all the marais and pars loved him and they took him in everywhere he Because he could feed them. Because he knew how to grow kumaras and that's what he used to do. He didn't go out on all parties than that. And um, they yeah, loved him for it. And. The, you know, the people were always going hungry in winter time because the fish would leak, go, the birds would all be skinny because they never had food to eat, you know, like the wildlife. And Māori around this area, from the north, they were okay. But from from Whangarei down, they were always hungry over winter, and that's why they are always raiding and fighting through marais and that because they didn't have enough food because their whole staple diet was fish uh, roots from the trees and you know like tree roots out in the bush yeah and they didn't know how to grow potatoes and kumara until um tamatea come along and he knew how to do all that so so he taught, we've he taught them how to do it all well I've, i have to do a big panui out to all of my cousins who have tamatea Hokai Whenua in the Whakapapa and let yeah. them know that his burial was that where he was buried? Yeah, uh, yeah, one of the Tamatea line. I'm not sure which chief it was though, but and, yeah, he was buried up there. And, and come along and built houses all along there? No, no, have left a, let a Pākehā owner build houses on there without telling him 
without telling them that it was it was a paramount chief that was buried up there and here's the oh that's bad i've got to get that one out but here's another thing i was with my cousin today she lives down by you and um she um was telling me that she had this feeling so she went up for a a cruise and she was going up into this hill and she had a feeling to go check something out and then um she had seen that there was an occupation and some protesters but they had effectively got the builders to stop and all they did was they put a sign up saying Mary burial ground Mouldy burial site do not build here and those builders never came back yeah they just fucked off yeah well, that, yeah, well that's what but what's happened is that they're letting them do it and they, see they never ever told they haven't told anyone about the houses being built up there it was only uh, coincidence when I was talking to you guys yeah. I noticed the bloody trees were gone get, get your boys Get your boys to whack in a sign. Yeah, well, let's get your boys to whack in a few signs. We'll get um, Peter to do some drone footage all around there. We'll put together a little bit of a documentary. But, yeah, we'll do the big panui out, and um, we'll try and get as many people to the um, court as possible. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. Where's this court, though? Which one is it? High Court in Auckland. High Court, Auckland, 9th of February. Yeah, in all those tama, all those mokopuna of tamatia pokai kinoa, you come and come yeah, and support yeah. us, okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go. I've got two videos to do. I'm gonna cut okay. this this thing in half, and I'm just gonna do the pokai whenua bit. Is that cool? Like a panel? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bye. Talk later. See you there.